Concerns about the headlines regarding coronavirus are slamming the stock market. Biotech companies are racing to develop vaccines and treatments for the illness. Some of those biotech names have been up as a result. And joining us now to discuss is Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani. And Anjali covers these companies very closely. So what's the latest here? Because as I understood it, there's sort of two races, right? There's trying to develop a vaccine, but also yesterday we were discussing the companies who are finally upping their ability to test, to test people to find out if they have coronavirus. Yeah, th so in that reference, then there's three prongs, actually. There's one for treatments as well. So mm. companies like um, Gilead as well as Sanofi are uh, looking at their antivirals and looking at, um, you know, trying to develop something that can actually treat it now. Um, meanwhile, all these other companies, Moderna, Inovio, Novavax, um, Verb Biotechnology, they're a lot of, they're actually smaller players and they're actually bubbling to the top when it comes to, you know, being of interest for investors. Uh, and they've been able to really, you know, zoom ahead of some of these larger cap companies when it comes to developing something or getting to the point where they have the attention of the U.S. government, of the NIH to be able to test candidates or even work on clinical trials. So that's been really interesting to watch. Um, they haven't been spared, though. It's important to note they actually haven't been spared from the sell-off this week because if you take a look at the stocks, um, you know, when you look at Moderna, it actually had a really uh, interesting sell-off yesterday. Oh, yeah, down 12 percent now. And that's the first one that has a vaccine candidate. So the fact that it's doing so poorly is uh, is kind of of interest right now. It's huh. It's interesting that they're not being spared. Well, you have to wonder, like, how long, what is the process for getting approval, trials, tests, like, long. how long? I mean, it, it could, what if the the virus is already spread right. in here and it's kind of too late? Or I the opposite. I'm not a scientist they, they, or they a doctor, invest, but. And then the virus has been handled yeah, already and yeah. we don't need it. Right, well, that's the likely scenario, right? Uh, because the timeline is about a year and a half, so it is more than likely that by the time a vaccine is created, we won't need it anymore mm. for this outbreak. But it's important to note that earlier, uh, Dr. Fauci, who we know is one of the leading health experts and officials in this country, um, did mention that it could go into next year and that's something he's concerned about. So who knows? We Again, this is one of those things that we still haven't like got a full a grasp on what the outbreak is, on what the specifics of this disease are. So it just keeps changing and we're just kind of waiting. Treatment, not to be confused with vaccine. Vaccine will be preventative, I guess. Mm. Yeah, it is, uh, it is interesting. If you're one of these companies, you're in the tough position of needing to spend money right now yes. to be able to say we're close or we're getting there or we're looking at it, but then how, much, how many resources do you really want to put on it because we just don't know how long this is going to last or how bad it will get. And the payoff will likely not be large. That's one of the biggest things for vaccines is once you get to that point, you kind of have to give it away because... Who wants a headline that says you're charging? Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> right? We were so sensitive for yes. price. Uh, Especially for after the Martin Shkreli exactly. uh, news cycle. That was really interesting. All right, Anjali, yeah, thanks so much. Good coverage of this stuff. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.